to my names. A vlog about uh, domain names. Right, um, you have to ignore the traffic because it's, that's part of car life, isn't it? Um, today, see, like, pe <laughs> there are domain name investors now that only want dot coms, right? And there's a reason why uh, the uh, I can I can understand the two letter dot coms and the two number dot coms and the one word dot coms and all that yeah but you you had to be in domain name investing very early on to get them for a decent price or and or not for, and if not free but domain name investors that's, that's before 1995 1995 <clears throat> now you've got to pay millions to get a one a, the best one word dot coms right. That's just a fact. So if you're a domain name investor starting out in ninety in uh, 2019, with your 15 quid, your 20 quid, like that, buy your first two word dot com, you're not going to have millions, are you? You got 20 quid. You can't buy these names. They've been gone. They've been taken. They've been bought years ago, right? Decades ago, right? People have had them, and they just pay a yearly reg fee. For 20 years and keep them, and, and they will make massive profit eventually. But if you're starting out as a domain name investor in 2019, 2020, we're almost in 2020 now. 2020, 2020 vision. What's that song? 2020 vision. Um, <laughs> so, um, yeah, uh, it takes time to build a portfolio. And uh, <coughs> and add liquidity to your portfolio, e.g., by selling a domain name. I've not sold a domain name now um, for years. No one, no one, no one applies. No, no one applies to buy my uh, inquires about my domain names, and I don't really want to put them out there to, for sale. I just want to sit on them and forget about them. They're, they're my intellectual property. The domain names that I found, and uh, they're for sale if. The, the right price, but <coughs> see, like today, if I, I hear so much waffle from from okay, they are very, very good domain name investors, and they've been in domain name investing for many, many years, many decades, probably so some decades, a couple of decades, and some. But cars don't go on the road, yeah. We're not, we're we're not still on 1995 cars. We're in uh, cars made in 2019. Cars have moved on since 1995, which is when um, before 1995 domain names were free. Apparently, now you you need deep pockets to actually buy a decent domain. So the early the early domain name investors. Um, Shouldn't really buy Teslas because they were built after 1995, wouldn't they? <laughs> oh yeah, oh yeah, we like Teslas. Yeah, but you can't have Teslas because um, they were bought, they were bought after 1995. Cars moved on, domain names have moved on. GTLDs are the thing, are the future. So much so, but because it's, it's actually it's, it's a good thing because like now, I've been able to buy. Over the course of the last six months, three domain names for about fifty quid. Um, less than that probably. Van dot loans, which Google recognises loans, and when you think that home dot loans sold for nearly five hundred thousand um, dollars, which is nearly three hundred seventy-five grand, which is like a detached house in. Um, you probably get a uh, uh, and semi semi detached house. Probably a, probably a cheap um, detached house for three seventy five k u g g p, and that's a t that's just a, a GTLD sold for that home dot loans half half a million dollars. Um, my van dot loans cost me about twenty quid, ten fifteen quid. Or whatever, I can't remember exactly what it is. Um, I also bought Van Dot Graphics, 
graphics. Again, 10, 15 quid in the last six months. Or um, today, I went and bought um, van.photos for about nine quid. Right? <laughs> nine quid. You can't even get a takeaway for nine quid. Um, <laughs> you can't. You can't get a Chinese takeaway, Indian takeaway. You can't get a pizza. You can't bought to your house for, for nine quid. You can't. Um, you have a job to get a decent uh, de a decent feed. Uh, uh, Greg's for about eight or nine quid. Um, so, I went and bought van.photos for nine quid. Right? So, straight away, I went onto Estibot, which is a valuation, uh, website address valuation tool. I got, uh, got it value, yeah? Estibot reckon its value is $1,300, which is about a thousand quid. <laughs> I paid nine quid for it. <laughs> What's that? So, nine quid. So, 90 quid is a thousand percent, right? 900 quid is, is it 10,000 <laughs> percent? So it's 10,000 percent interest, is it? <laughs> on a nine quid investment. Now, I've, I've told people now on YouTube, right, yeah, um, especially in the van life community, because... Um, Many are struggling because van life isn't recognised by the um, like university credit and all that, yeah. But they want to live the van life lifestyle, and it, it's it's still got costs that are not recognised as accommodation costs. So I've said that I'll, I've I've, all, I've always been willing to help people look at domain names and understand GTLDs and emoji website addresses and all that. Um. And I've sh I've shown even on the vlogs, told people where 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 you can get your your website address valued. Um, I've told you uh, where you can sell .co.uk and .uk at auction at Domain Law, whatever UK. I've told um, your GoDaddy auctions or cdo.com, sedo.com, uniregistry.com, where they are for brokers and all that. Yeah. So I've not. It's not as if I've not told people about domain names. Um, I can't make them interested. If they don't want to be interested, that's their own business. I, I, I fully understand that. That's not. I'm not here to, to tell them you must, but I've just shown them that that digital domain names are digital land, and they are selling. For, the good ones are selling for good good money. And you've only got to now. Where are we were uh, the 16th or whatever it is of um, the 15th of. December, so it's about ten days, nine days from Crimba. The Christmas, or whatever. Um, the 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 holidays, the holiday period. Uh, in January, which is known about a month away, there's a a global domain name auction called NamesCon. N A M E S C O N. Dot com, as in domain names conference, abbreviated to NamesCon. It's been about in Vegas for every year for for about five or six years, whatever it is. I, I, I don't know exactly now, off the top of my head. But um, it's in Austin, you know, in the states. Uh, but it'll be um, be videos of it somewhere. And uh, you'll see. Excuse me. And you'll see the auction listings. I think you can go on GoDaddy or you go on Right of the Dot R O T D. R O uh, R for Romeo, O for Oscar, T for Tango, D for Delta dot com, and that's the web, that's the auction website. That's actually um, where you can list your domain names for auction if you've got any. Obviously, they will only sell the good ones, uh, so chances are most people will actually get their domain names rejected. But it's a chance. It's, there's a lot of legal legalities and terms and conditions and. Exceptions, exclusions, and everything else. Because they only, they only want the best. But um. But you'll see the the sold prices that they go for eventually, and there will be some good ones. There's some good ones for elections and that sort of thing. But in in dot com, two keyword dot coms, and they will sell for a bit uh, big dough. Um. But. I can I, I've I've. <laughs> 
I would even put a domain name as um I think van life needs like a free mechanics it needs um carpenters joiners that sort of thing those skills that actually fit out vans for uh, accommodation for people that are actually either homeless or whatever and all that but I I can't I can't sell my domain names and I've got uh, to be fair I don't really want to to be fair um because I've got some good ones I want to keep them so but my van photos that I bought today for 10 quid proves that there's some good domain names it's gtld says so no com because it uses dot photos yeah so dot photos ranks as a keyword in Google and so does van so van photos and most people live in van life for taking photos yeah. or uh, taking videos yeah um so my the van photos is the shortest possible version of it in English speaking world which is the states Canada Australia New Zealand UK um nine quid bargain absolute bargain valued at 1300 uh my van graphics which cost me about 20 quid valued at twelve hundred dollars which is about a thousand quid nine hundred quid tonight so um two website addresses i bought for 20 for about 30 quid valued at the best part of two grand but they're only they're, that's what they're valued at whether i sell them for that isn't it that's me i'll sell them for what i want to sell them for but um <sighs> there's bargains to be had if you're looking if you're looking for website addresses and then you just get a broker, or if you're any good at selling yourself, sell yourself. A broker, you... Excuse me. See, brokers only want the cream. They only want oneword.com. So there's about 95% of the market that no one's actually selling to. Businesses are actually looking, especially when businesses buy businesses out, they want to rebrand to get a, a, better, a better website address that reflects the two businesses, that, the one that's actually bought the other one out. And to rebrand as a as a brandable, but there is only so many five letter dot coms, four letter dot coms, three letter dot coms. Three letter dot coms now you're looking at under a decent one with a logo. You're looking at uh, that can't be reproduced anywhere or duplicated. You're looking at decent dough, proper dough, six figures. Um. Uh. And this is it. This is where the internet. And domain names are so closely linked. There is without domain names, it isn't an internet. The only reason people have got a Facebook account is because Facebook pay their yearly renewal on Facebook.com and FB.com. The only reason why we got YouTube is because Google, that own YouTube, pay the yearly renewal for about five or ten quid for YouTube.com. Because if I didn't do that, there wouldn't be a YouTube. It'd be, it'd be closed down. The only reason why you got Google search, and you can ask Google if it's windy or not, <laughs> all day, it's because Google pay a yearly renewal for Google.com website address, which a whole lot is attached to. Google, everything else. Um, the reason why Google can't have Alphabet.com is because BMW own it. And BMW don't want to sell it. Um, and this is domain names. There's people with money, but they can't buy what isn't for sale. Uh, you've got now a website address, Kylie.com. There's two Kylies in the world. One owns it and one wants to. Uh, <laughs> that's as simple as it gets. It's already been bought. It's not for sale. and uh, But someone wants to buy it. Um you just got to look in the, into a uh, uh, domain name registrar search engine. Think of something half decent, and if it would have, and think to yourself, would a business want this? And the way of doing that is actually just type in the keywords, type, find two keywords, preferably one with a GTOD. Check the trademarks, see if it's a trademark. Then type the two keywords, see the first word and the extension of the word, which is a, key, a keyword which is the second part of a GTLD, type the two words into Google and it'll give you the potential buyers for that, that that's um, 
for that website address. Just make sure it's uh, spelt properly and not not like duplicate duplicate or like um. Yeah, yeah. Just 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 look into it and uh, I don't know. Or just buy a simple. You'll see the prices on on the auction sites as to what they sell for. That's why I say about um, name bio n a m e b i o dot com. First thing I do every morning is check that, just so I get an idea as to what's being bought, how much is being paid for it, and where they're buying it from. Whether it's a brokerage or um, an auction site. And then I look at the first thing I do on a Thursday morning is uh, check the DN Journal. The D as in the domain and N as in name. DNJournal.com. I look at that every Thursday to see what has been sold around the world and who sold it and how much for, and uh, which gives you an idea of what's the value of website addresses at the moment. And they're only going to go one way, and that's up. GTLDs have only been about since about well been about before before 2014, but about um, they've only been about since about January 2014-ish, roughly. Um, so it's, the market is still very very new. Not not everyone understands GTLDs or how they actually work for um, free organic SEO in Google. Uh, I but that's it. I, I'm always happy to actually answer questions on GTLDs. Or where I see them, where I see them, and the fact that these people are paying half a million dollars, uh, vacation vacation dot rentals sold for half a million dollars. I think there's, there's an interview on that where the guy uh, she uh, talks about the the uh, purchase. That's, there's an interview on the uh, vacation dot rentals, GTLD acquisition, on Domain Sherpa, Domain Sherpa, S H E R P A dot com. And he says that he offered about twenty-five thousand pounds as soon as he actually realised it was for sale. Well, he phoned up straight away. And he couldn't believe it. He's like, "Yeah, <laughs> he's, he's been wanting this uh, this domain name." Uh, he offered about twenty-five grand, and they said, "Well, no, it's in the high sixes, which is nearly over, over half a million dollars, six hundred thousand dollars, which is about four hundred fifty grand sterling." Um. He thought about it for a very, very, very short time, and he said, "Well, would they take five hundred thousand dollars cash?" And they had to get back to the broker. The broker had to get back to the seller, and the, the seller said, "Yes, that's okay." So the broker phoned the, the 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 person that wants to buy it back, and they said, "Yes, they'll accept five hundred thousand dollars for a web a GTLD, which is vacation dot rentals." There's an interview on that uh, where he talks about that, and the person that bought that knows a lot, a bit, a fair bit about SEO, organic SEO. So these are the the world. The last place to go to is, is not not everyone realizes about GTLDs, but they're so cheap if you know what you're looking for and be out. Got 10 20 quid that's prepared to take a punt. You might lose a lot, you might lose the 20 quid, but as long as you're prepared to lose the 20 quid and take a punt on it and just see if it, if, if it works, if it sells, I might make a few quid. And if it doesn't, I've lost 20 quid, which is like as long as you can afford to lose 20 quid. Um, see, I just buy GTLDs because I, I just have a quick look. This, this today, van photos took me about three minutes to find it three minutes to buy it six minutes <laughs> easy isn't it eh? so tomorrow I'm going to drive for about eight hours I'll be working for about eight hours tomorrow and I bought a decent website address GTLD for uh, took me six minutes and about nine quid and that's domain names they're worth what a person wants to pay from but and if you're lucky enough, three or four people want to pay the right money for them. And then you you just, it goes where it goes. This week, you look at look, look at domain law at the moment. Look at domain law, D-O-M-A-I-N-L-O-R-E, 
tqlettercom and you'll see um, there's a two letter.com tq.co.uk that's going to go for about two or three grand this week a couple of days time you've got jazz J A double Z dot co dot UK that's gonna go for about it's already at fifteen hundred quid now. Um that'll probably go for about well, more than ten grand I thought. And that's it. It's just like blastar.com but it's a, it's in a good dot co dot UK uh recognised extension. Aston Martin dot UK is just sold uh, um last week. Big brands are buying domain names. As long as you don't buy anything that's trademarked. Check your trademarks. What I buy is my own business. I know why I buy it. I know what I buy. Um, but I'm, I have to tell you that you um, make sure you check trademarks. Please check trademarks every time you buy. It just covers yourself. That's all I'm saying. I, I, obviously, I want you to if, if if you if you buy domain names, I want you to look, to check do 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 the, do the trademark check. Make sure, or have somebody that knows about trademarks and have them check it for you, so that you're not buying anything that's trademark. Because then you you end up in a UDRP tribunal and all that. You you don't want that, and I don't want you to have that either. So that's why I say, please check your trademarks if you're going to buy a domain name. Um, and that's that's all it is. It, just check name bio n a m e b i o dot com every day, five o'clock in the morning in the UK, about ten past five in the morning onwards. It's updated every day. So and then you'll see uh, even for the humour, some of them are actually <laughs> some of the domain names that go are funny. <laughs> Because you, you, it's like it's a global thing. Domain names are global. <laughs> Not the, the world isn't all um, politically correct and health and safety and all that rubbish. The world is the world. It just buys what it buys, and some are funny. Anyway, that's domain names, and I've, I bought my van photos, and I'm quite happy with it for my nine quid. For anyone that lives van life that takes photos or whatever, yeah, and wants that as a website address, make me an offer in the comments. Cheers now. Thanks for listening. Take care.